Hello, beautiful souls. Lori Rising here, star channeler, transformational mentor, and sacred guide. Happy Taurus new moon. Happy stellium. Happy sensuality portal. Happy embodied revolution. Mm. Y'all, this energy is so yum. And if Taurus loves anything, it is the yum in life. Wow. I mean, I cannot wait to get into these energies with you. The chart is popping off. We are raring to go. And have you been following your feel good activation? I am back. I have been on a Pacific Northwest tour for the last three and a half weeks. So I missed the full video of the Scorpio full moon because I was definitely activating my sensuality portal and I was dropping into such beautiful energy with my friends, with food, with water, with nature. Oh, it was so good. And I actually made the conscious decision to keep following that flow. But I did release a couple of reels about it. So hopefully you dropped into those. And if you didn't, make sure you're following me on IG at the Raw and Wild Hearts, where I do tend to share more over there in smaller bite-sized pieces. So what we do in these videos here is I tap into my intuitive channel and what I'm feeling through the collective energy at these bigger portals or times of the new moons and full moons. And then I share the chart and highlight the aspects that I'm talking about. So if you want to learn how to read an astrology chart better, that is your jam. And then I bring in a card read from the guides. This is so important to stick around for because it really does share what we should be keeping a heads up about, what we should be looking out for, and how we can be activating the best and highest energy of what's coming through in our co-creative relationship. It's so good with the cosmos, with the galaxy, with our guides, with everything, with our multidimensional reality. So if you are new to the channel, welcome. I am so excited that you found us. Like I said, I'm Lori Rising of the raw and wild hearts.com. That's my hub. Head on over, grab some freebies, check out the vibe, look at what I have coming up. It's big, more on that to come. And if you are feeling supported in these messages, in these videos, please hit that like button, share the video with your communities, in your stories, tag me, share it with one person in your life that you know will be super activated by it because y'all, that's how we change the energy around us, which makes it much more easeful for us to be in beautiful states of alignment and bliss and ascension. And definitely hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bells, and let me know in the comments below how you are receiving these big energies of Taurus and Scorpio and Uranus. Y'all, I do have a lot to share when we get into the charts. So what I want to talk about right now is this embodied revolution, because we have to activate it in our lives. We have to actually do the trust, the belief, and the declaration in our lives in new ways to make it the dominant narrative of a new earth way of life. We can't keep intellectualizing it and we can't keep going through our minds over and over and over about where to go in our lives. Seriously, y'all, you're gonna have to trust your heart. You're gonna have to take that inspired risk. And then when you start to get more and more results, the bigger inspired risks and trust you will gain, but you've got to start somewhere. It's never going to be super comfortable when you begin. I remember when I really, really dropped into this, when I began my soul business, this soul business, like three or four years ago, um, it was a slow start, but the podcast started in 2019. And that was super uncomfortable for me but I trusted that it kept coming up in my field and I kept thinking about it. I kept desiring it and imagining it for so many years. 
And I was also looking for somebody to do it with me. I was looking for a way to make it safe. And finally, I just had to say yes to the dress of my life, to the soul's call that kept tapping, tapping, and tapping. And now here I am years later, the podcast is still going, and there is so much more that has avalanched from there. So with all of this Taurus energy and Aries energy, which is the divine feminine and sacred masculine, we are set up for the crystalline Olympics of this life. Seriously, like receive the message, feel the hit, take the confident action, let yourself do it in a way that you've never done it before, be the pioneer of your life, maverick this shit in brand new ways and radiate that out, blaze the trail for others to be in awe and flow with you. So what I want to talk about with Taurus is that the source is the resource. Taurus is all about our resources. And when it becomes the inner light that we are, the inner radiance, the inner belief that we can do anything, that we are capable, that we are creators, that everything is possible, that life is happening in beautiful ways, and is allowing us to pivot and find new paths and go in spiral directions, this is where we move into the heart-led life. Because when we follow the flow of our heart, the feeling of love, of softness, of even ease in the nervous system, we find the magic, we find the miracles, and we move in quantum shifts. This is not something that has been imprinted in our cells yet. We are the activators of imprinting this for generations to come. Is it a big deal? Yes, it is a huge deal. And I am honoring you. And I am so stoked that you keep showing up time and again, because it does keep getting easier. It does become a way of life. I know because I am a living example. If you have worked with me deeper in any of my containers, you know that the activation is the embodiment. You will never come into one of my spaces and only get talked to and only move through your mind. It's all about the holistic being, the energy, the soul, the spirit, the body, and then the mind. Because if we try to lead with the mind as the resource, we come up into limitation, into a long, hard, and slow unfolding, and into force from fear, which can also be translated as source from fear. Now, Taurus is fixed energy. It can be stubborn, it can be slow, it can be steady, and it wants to feel secure. So again, when we realize how unbelievably powerful and magical and resourceful we are when we work in the energy, which actually doesn't cost us any money. So if you're equating that with, I can't do it because I can't afford it, you got to get rid of that story. You got to get rid of all the stories that you might be saying about this. Because again, that's sourced from the mind, that's slow, that's resistance, and that is not how we're moving in this portal that is being activated deeply in this Taurus new moon with the Uranus conjunction and Jupiter and Venus. Oh, it's so good. The deal with Taurus is if somebody tells them to change, they are a hell no, because that's sourced from force. But if they come to a soft space of shifting in their life from nature from feeling, from pleasure, from simplicity, from ease, they are a can I get a hell yes. This is where we're going in the consciousness evolution that we're in. This is how we're living from light instead of density. So that is why it is so important that you become the channeler of your life. So I'm recording this on November 6th. And today, the sun in Taurus is sextiling Saturn in Pisces. Now, if you've been feeling a little lost, especially since the total solar eclipse in Aries, we've had 
some Saturn activations, especially it was the Sat the Mars and Saturn conjunction. Ooh, that one was intense. And you can kind of feel like you're flailing. You feel like everything that you've been working on or coming into alignment with is suddenly gone. And then you're in this space of disbelief, overwhelm, feeling lost. That's the Saturn and Pisces activation. So today, this is a beneficial activation between Saturn and the sun. It's not the stuff that's kind of hammering down on us and creating that place of dis-ease or disconnection in our life. Today, if you really let yourself go internal, get quiet, find that stillness, get to nature, let yourself feel, flow, and connect, go in water, really immerse yourself in water, you're going to get messages, you're going to get inspiration, you're going to get something illuminated for you by that sun. And that is going to help you move deeper into trusting that you are the channel. This was coming through recently as I see in my YouTube feed a lot of channelers sharing messages as they channel groups. Again, this is all mind messages. When I channel, you don't get mind from me. You get frequency, you get light, you get sound, you get movement, you get energy. It reminds you that you can hear the messages through our innate language, which is not the words that we speak. That is something that has been constructed for us. So we are reawakening and remembering the best and biggest resources that you have, which is our language of light, energy, connection, love, heart, frequency, vibration. And y'all, that is what I'm here to do. I am here to help you reactivate that in very deep ways. I wanted to let you know about an event that I have coming up before I drop this hot AF chart, which I cannot wait to get into with you. But let's talk about Lead Your Life. It's a seven day broadcast channel event where you get to connect with like soul and heart community while we're moving through the activations. This is going to be a multidimensional experience. And what we're doing is we're aligning with the laws of the universe. We're activating the pillars in our life of high level manifestation in our reality. It's not just think good thoughts. It's so much more than that. And if any of you have been in my containers, give me a holler in the comments. Let people know what it's like because I feel like I never can do it justice because I literally channel what we're going to be doing, how we're going to move through it based on the group's energy that gets magnetized into every experience. So y'all, I just pretty much dropped it officially today. And I could have made this free because it's the lead magnet that's leading up to my summer extravaganza event, which is the next octave mastermind and retreat experience. Ooh, ooh, so big. But let me tell you why I didn't make this free because I am about real time activation. I am about embodied root transformation. And when you make this investment, not just with your time, your energy and belief, which are your very most valuable resources, but with your money and you get the results in your life, which we are primed for in this Taurus new moon. I always love how divinely I am called to share the offers and containers that I create because I don't usually look at the astrology ahead of time. And I'm always like, yep, it's perfect as always. Cause I trust, I get the message and I act, I feel it. I move forward even when it doesn't make sense. So I want you to feel the investment that you make, the results that come from it. This is going to expand your nervous system. It's going to move your thermostat financially, time-wise, spiritually, all of it. And it's going to grow bigger. And you're going to take the charge out of that amount of whatever it is, amount of time, amount of energy, amount of dollars, and you're going to start believing in it in a new way. And then you're going to actually grow your ability to give and receive. You're going to create more flow. That's it. That's why I actually put a price on this. It wasn't because I needed the price. It was because I wanted you to do the work of feeling the call, believing in it, declaring it, 
creating an investment and expanding your nervous system from there because of how much your life is going to expand from this one week with me and my community. Oh, let's go. This summer is popping off. And whoever is a sacred yes to come in on this wild magic carpet ride with me, your life will never be the same. You will have permanent shifts and quantum leaps in beautiful, pristine, magical ways. Okay, so if you have questions, hit me up, send me a message, check out the link below. If you're getting excited and activated just from this video, wait till you truly wholeheartedly declare with me. Okay, let's get into this chart. It's so exciting. Okay, y'all, look at this. Oh my goddess. We have so much divine feminine, sacred masculine, divine feminine, sacred masculine. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I'm so excited about this. Do you notice what I notice when you look at this chart? It's so big. Ignore the dwarf planets and asteroids when I say this, but there are no big squares or oppositions. That is very benefic energy. This is what I'm talking about here, y'all. You've got to feel your sensuality in life. We are really turning this body, this system, this vessel on in the best ways because this is your highest conduit and connection. This is how you channel your unique life. No one else is going to give you better information about unfolding, magnetizing, and manifesting the life of your dreams but you. So this is why it is my soul's mission, my purpose, my passion in this life to help you connect deeply with your inner healer, your inner wise one, your inner magic, your inner unified field that is found within every one of your cells and connects you into the galactic realm, the universe, the earth, the oceans, the stars, the planet, the people, all of it. And when we come to the true belief in our bodies that that is our reality, that we stop moving through the comparison, the lack, the scarcity, the conditions, like waiting until I'm ready to do something and just waiting, waiting and waiting, Y'all, we create the conditions. That is who we came to be. That is how powerful we are. But you have to believe that it's possible for you. You have to believe that you can experience things that have never been said before, have never been showed or shared or verified or validated. Oh, it's so good. It's so big. Okay, y'all, this Taurus new moon is so lit. So here we go. Check this out. All of this. Taurus, this is the stellium here. A stellium is when three or more planets are in the same sign. Oh, and as a reminder, on the new moon, it's really about setting intentions, seeds of creation in your life. It's when the sun and moon are conjunct. So you see here, the sun and moon are both at 18 degrees and they're conjunct Venus. It's a wider orb, but they're still together. I'll give it a 10 degree orb there. And they're conjunct on the other side here, Uranus and Jupiter. We are now starting to feel the activation of Uranus and Jupiter in this conjunction. Once we move out of those Saturn challenge aspects, this is really going to show up for you in whatever house it is in your chart. So whether you're using whole houses or Placidus, check it out. Find the house and then look at the environment of your life and let that lead you in new ways because something is going to be big, something's going to change, and it's going to really invite you into a deep expansion. But you've got to move beyond that perceived fear that we've become so conditioned in. This Uranus and Jupiter conjunction with all this in Taurus is beautiful because it helps get that Taurus fixed energy unstuck. But again, you've got to feel it. It can't be forced on you. So really notice those two environments in your life and move towards the feeling and then just unentangle from what's coming in as force. We're still going to be riding in this 
sextile between Saturn and the sun and moon. It's just one degree apart. And again, sextiles are beneficial and supportive energies. We just have to activate it. So again, this is where you want to make sure you have solo time. You really have that time where you can decompress and you can actually let the mind rest, find that state of relaxation, do the guided meditation, do the qigong, do the acupuncture, like whatever it is that lets you let go of all of the things and all of the noise that's just taking up space in your life and your energy. Like get radical about that unentanglement. And if you can't find a way to do it, get into someone's world that can help you. That's what I'm here for. That's why I have all of my containers. My membership community, this is where we do the integrative work on the new and full moons. We have live circles. All the replays are in the whole portal. You could go through this portal for months and have basically almost like one-on-one -on -one coaching with me. You just have to have the motivation to show up for yourself and push play. And I guide you along with this beautiful circle of souls that make up the empowered, unconditional, transformational space in this membership. I have all kinds of bonuses in there too. So if you want to get more in touch with your channel and psychic connection, my embodied consciousness workshop is free in the membership when you sign up. Come for one month. If it feels right in the line, stay. If it's not aligned for you, leave after a month. It's okay. It's an open door policy. But there's a reason that so many women in this membership have been there for years. It's called the Wild Heart Ones. Check it out in the link below. Okay, there was only really one more thing I wanted to point out that Jupiter is going to be changing signs into Gemini. The faster moving planets I'm not going to really focus on right now. Um, next year, Uranus is going to change into Gemini, but that's not what I want to highlight because I want to look more at the closer future in these planetary changes. And then we've got Neptune is going to be changing into Aries. So this is going to be an activation along with Saturn. When they both change into Aries, our spiritual selves are going to Soar. So know that the work that you're doing now, the foundation that you're creating in all of your alignment, accountability, and practices that you continue to show up for every day are going to just come together. They're going to make sense. They're going to create this beautiful enlightenment that's going to catapult you to your next realm that you're going to bring into this embodied space. We are continuing to bring heaven on earth. We're not just checking out and going up and staying there where it, where it feels really good, we're bringing it back here. We are changing humanity. And this Taurus new moon is our opportunity to be in the embodied revolution. We cannot just be thinking about it. We cannot just be hoping that it happens, or we can't be waiting for someone else to do it for us. We have to jump off the precipice. We have to trust believe and declare. So also one more thing, Pluto is in Aquarius at two degrees here. As you can see, it's retrograde. So it's now starting to move back to Capricorn. So it's now, so it's now starting to move back to Capricorn and it's going to go into Capricorn from August to November. And if you all watched my astrology for the year of 2024 video, you know how I feel about this, but then it's going to come back into Pluto. But then it's going to come back into Aquarius in November for good for the next 20 years until 2024. And that's going to be a huge activation in our galactic citizenship, in our innovation, and in the highest technology of this body. Y'all, again, these are the times that we're creating the foundation. How are you showing up for them? How are you investing? And how are you believing? in what you do here and now for the future that will be the here and now again. Okay, so there wasn't a lot of aspects, but this is where I really wanna show you the flow that's available because we don't have a lot of challenge or opposition coming in. We've got a lot that's supporting us. We've gotta to come to that table. We've gotta co-create. We've gotta say, yes, I am here. Send me the message and we have to answer it. 
All right, y'all, let's do a card read, see what the guides have to say today. I grabbed my Earthcraft card, uh, which is a Uranus surprise because they're not the usual ones that I have, but because I went on tour, my other decks are still out in the van and I loved it. I'm like, let's go. Let's see what's new, what's good with this deck. All right, yes, so the first card is Ivy, and this is a beautiful card for connection and collaboration, for really letting yourself move out to new spaces, right? This is going to help you in that being guided by what feels good, by what your heart is basically pumping to and singing to. Um, Ivy's very sturdy, and it um, doesn't get taken over by other plants. So let yourself be very clear in your purpose and your passion and your mission and notice when other people, judgments, um, ideas are trying to come in and shift you and take yourself out of that environment, change the energy, get back into alignment, get back into your centeredness, ground in and blast off from there. And this takes me to plant seeds because this is going to allow you to plant the new seeds of your life that you've been waiting on and waiting on and waiting on because of the story that keeps looping around. But that story is actually creating the conditions around you. So this is where we've got to move into the deep embodied activation. And of course, the Taurus new moon is all about planting new intentions and new seeds. And the final card is ceremony. Look at all of that red and yellow, that fire energy. This is the Aries, right? The sacred masculine that's coming in. Come to it in confidence. Come to your ability as a channeler, as a collaborator, as a co-creator with the divine, with universe, with source energy in the unified field in a deep space of belief. When you truly have that depth within your cells, that knowledge of there being no other possibility or way, you're just unfolding into it, it comes like that. All right, y'all. Happy Taurus New Moon. Happy Sensuality Portal. Happy Embodied Revolution. And until next time, don't forget to keep looking up.